part of the world you are right now. Again, welcome to Shadal Marine Training. Guys, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification button as well so you'll get notified every time I have a new posting. We we'll discuss again another topic regarding uh, EBRs. Well, the question on my part two posting, if you haven't seen it yet, if you haven't watched it yet, I suggest you watch that part two video regarding alternator EBRs or generator EBRs because the question there is about if I'm having an ABR of 250 volts input maximum, and can I use it on alterna an, an alternator which is having an output voltage of either 415 volts on a 50 hertz system or 450 volts on a 60 hertz system? Can I use the ABR which is having a 250 volts maximum input? Uh, yes, we can use it. Uh, some guys had suggested that we cannot because the output voltage is 415 or 450 and some guys, thanks a lot for your comments on that part 2 video that yes, you can use it. Definitely, we can use this ABR. Okay? So, we will connect it by having a transformer. Okay? So, most of you guys had suggested that we install a step down transformer so we'll get one line from line one and then another line from line two pro so it should be a if i'll be using on a 415 so 415 is the primary and the secondary should be 220 volts or 240 volts so i can use this abr with an input rated of 250 on a system which has a higher voltage. But, but the thing is, we will be adding another instrument or equipment or accessory to enable our alternator to function. And if this transformer burn for whatever reason, then we'll, it will cause a blackout. So the more components involved in the system has a higher risk of having a damage in the future. So. I'd rather not use a transformer if that's the case because if I have a defective transformer then I cannot use the alternator itself. So what is my next option? Yes, we can use this but I don't suggest having a transformer on this type of uh, shunt excited uh, alternator. So what is my option then without having a transformer? So my option is to install one line towards line 1 and the other line on the neutral okay so having this way it will be having a voltage it will compute it somewhere around 239 volts on a 415 and somewhere to 245 volts somewhere if we're gonna be computing it so we can still use it without any transformer by having a connection towards one line and towards neutral Right, so that solves the problem. It's either having a transformer, but transformer bird, we will be having a blackout. But on this type of connection, we don't need any transformer at all. Alright? So those are the two options, but I prefer to use this topping. Now, the question, another question that we will be having on this certain topic is on this type of connection, can I use this alternator or what are the uh, negative effects or uh, disadvantages of having a input or sensing voltage of the ABR towards one line against neutral? Yes, it will work on a single operation, meaning as an emergency generator or a standby generator that I don't need to parallel or load share to another unit this is perfect already. But it is a huge disadvantage if I'm going to be using this on a load sharing uh, process. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe and God bless.